Today I wanted to show you the most affordable and bright on-camera monitor from Icon. Uh, the monitor I have here is the Icon Saga model S7H. Uh, it's a 7 inch monitor with 700 nits of brightness. This makes it an ideal outdoor field or, or camera monitor. So what's the big deal about this monitor since there are others out there that are brighter? Well, it's the least costly option if you want a monitor that's bright enough uh, to be used outdoors. At the time of this video recording, the monitor costs $700. Uh, just to compare, the closest option uh, would be the DJI Crystal Sky 7-inch high brightness monitor, which has uh, actually a little bit more, 1,000 nits of brightness. Uh, and it also costs $700. Now the only difference being is that the DJI doesn't have any of the pro features that the Icon has. For example, the DJI Crystal Sky monitor is only HDMI, uh, whereas the Icon monitor has both 3G SDI and HDMI inputs and outputs. Uh, if you want a bright monitor with SDI connections, then the next best option is the small HD702 monitor, which has 1000 nits of brightness, but it costs $1,500. So more than double the cost of the Icon. So how is the Icon Saga? Well, I've actually used it on a few projects I shot over the last month and a half, and so far it's performed very well. It's very sharp and color accurate, which is important. It's actually a 1920 by 1200 IPS panel. It supports both the Ultra HD and Cinema 4K resolutions uh, via the HDMI ports. Uh, with one-to-one -one pixel mapping and peaking, it means that you can make sure that you always have uh, shots that are perfectly in focus. There's also a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, so you can easily monitor your audio. Plus the monitor has audio meters and other important tools such as uh, waveform, uh, histogram, false color, peaking, pixel to pixel, uh, zooming, guides, and, and a few other things, all of which can be assigned to one of the four custom buttons on top of the monitor. Also on the top right side of the monitor, you'll find the menu dial, uh, which makes it very easy to navigate through the different uh, settings uh, that the monitor offers. And also I'm guessing there's gonna be other options added later on uh, through the firmware upgrades. Uh, on the back, you will find dual Canon E6 battery plates, which can be changed out for all other popular battery types, uh, although these are the, the plates that the monitor comes with. On the bottom, you will find the SDI and HDMI inputs and outputs along with the headphone jack uh, and a mini XLR power connection. There's also a USB connection which can be used to both upgrade the firmware of the monitor, but also to power any USB accessories you might have. So that's kind of a cool option. Uh, you also have a quarter 20 inch screws attachment on the bottom, top and both sides of the monitor. When you buy the monitor, you will also get a heavy-duty shoe mount, a neoprene monitor sleeve, which will protect your monitor when you throw it in your camera bag, uh, and also a P-Tap to Mini XLR power cable. So, uh, what do I think of the monitor so far? Um, I, I like that it's thin and light. Uh, also, it's just bright enough to be used outdoors uh, without the need of any uh, sunshade. Uh, it's got a good quality display and all those nice tools like the audio meters, histogram or waveform. Uh, and my favorite, uh, the false color function. What I don't like about the monitor is that there's no vector scope included, but I'm hoping it's going to be added later on uh, through a firmware upgrade. Uh, I also don't like that the only way to power the monitor outside of using batteries uh, is through the mini XLR connection. Uh, I wish there was also a an, an, uh, standard DC uh, power connection. One other thing that I also don't like uh, is that uh, it can get pretty hot uh, in the back of the monitor after you've been using it for a while. Uh, there's actually even a warning on the back plate of the monitor. I'm guessing that is a heat sink and the only way the monitor internals can dissipate the heat. Uh, so the good thing about this uh, is actually that, that the monitor is completely silent because it doesn't have any moving fans. Uh, so overall, I think it's a good monitor. It can be a great monitor if I can, can drop the price even more uh, and, and just price it more competitively, considering that there are other similar options out there. Uh, like I've said before, uh, as of right now, it's still the most affordable hybrid monitor, which has both SDI and HDMI connections. But uh, since it's still not the brightest, if the price drops even more, then uh, I think it's definitely a great option. Uh, now, for all the latest prices and any special discounts, please check the description of the video. Uh, and as always, if you like the video, make sure uh, you guys uh, check out our website. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.